Hello and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Saturday, February 27th, 2021, and today's topic is called Sky Speak. It's a collection of images and sky observations happening February 23rd and 24th, 2021. And actually I'm recording very late at night, later than usual, um, and that I'm just bringing up because if you hear some wild and fun kind of party club music going on with some shouting, uh, I'm recording outside and there's a party somewhere around um, uh, within a mile away and uh, everyone's having a great time. So if you even hear cheering and the volume going up and down, it's not that people are so excited about my show, <laughs> although that would be fun. It's just a, a separate party going on. So I'm happy for them and I'm happy you're here joining me uh, on the show right now. So let's get into the sky observations. And before I do, I'd like to say good day. Osio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, kedu. Buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, tien dobre, konnichiwa, dobro hanya, anyo aseo, potarji, dobri dan, aloha winala, galimera, and fudem dach. And today's quote we're going to start off with is, who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? And that's by Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars A New Hope. And it just reminded me of that with the scene of ducks. Uh, so on the left-hand side, one's following the other, and a moment later, you know, one banks off, the leader banks off to the left, and the other one looks like it might be deciding whether it follows suit or not. Um, it also could have just been distracted. But anyway, it's a good example. Uh, I just want to bring this up as a good topic. Just look at, looking at what's going on globally, just please, if you're not doing it already, always go by your inner guidance and intuition and don't just blindly follow something or listen to the TV. You know, really tap into your inner intuition on things and follow that instead. All right, anyway, let's get into the sky observations. If uh, Whether you're new or returning, I give you a big heartfelt thanks and welcome. If you are new, you're going to see that I refer to things as original photo or enhanced photo. When I say enhanced, I simply mean I've edited attributes of the photo, such as color, saturation, brightness, contrast, things of that nature, just to better highlight and get at some areas of interest in each photo. Also, I'm going to refer to things as cloud and quotes, so like in this case, strange cloud activity. And when I say that, I'm saying that there could, be, could very well be cloaking craft and some of the examples I'm going to walk you through. And when I say cloaking craft, I'm talking about something that could be very much 3D, three-dimensional, um, very tactile, tangible, you could go up and knock on it type of thing. Or I'm talking about interdimensional craft, which is a little more elusive. It could be an imprint or it could be something that seems very phantom-like. That and Or it also could be something 3D that is in the middle of phasing in and out of its state. And when I say all of that with the cloaking craft and technology, I'm talking it could be very well be extraterrestrial, whether it's basic or advanced, or it could be human-made uh, in collaboration with ET Tech. Uh, very, I am very much open to that, and you'll see if you look at some of my previous shows why, and in this one coming up. Anyway, let's get going. So we're going to look at the enhanced version here. And what struck me odd in this one is just we have a pure white, quote-unquote, cloud source here, or, or cloud, you know, appearing here. And then when we look beyond, it's much darker gray, and yet they're side by side. And it's just in a strange configuration. This one in the front, the white one is arcing down. The one in the back is arcing a little bit more up. And in the background, we have what's a little bit more of the traditional cumulus cloud activity happening. Everything low on the horizon, also lower than in decades past, is noteworthy as well. But in the meantime, too, here, if we look, if you look where my cursor is, it seems like a, an elongated uh, pointed ellipse happening there, a little more solid body beyond. Looks like something's happening in here, too, of substance. And in here as well, we see um, some shadow. We see little, you know, bright points. So to me, that implies there's something going on in there more than just, um, you know, cloud like water vapor. Oh, and when I talk about cloaking material, I'm talking about plasma. That's going to be my go-to reference. It could be something else. You know, it's impossible for me to go and test that. But uh, that's what I'm going with uh, for now. We're going to call that uh, anything cloaking, and especially when it looks like tufted and jumbled up and concentrated around edges of something, cloaking material. Okay, that said, let's keep going. So this one is more strange cloud activity at sunrise. So here's, we've got, these aren't true cumulus clouds, by the way, but especially with the consistency, they kind of fall apart around the edges. Um, and so I'm a little suspect about this. But anyway, we see this, um, even if they were pure cumulus clouds going on, we see this horizontal band coming right across, you know, with a kind of a thickness to it. And then we've got this straight edge happening in here. So there's a lot that looks a little bit suspect and worth, you know, looking at with enhancement. We also see like a triangular form and shadow here and above here. So let's check this out with some enhancement. You can see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Here we've got a, a true, almost a equilateral 
triangle and another one echoing above. And as I've said in previous shows, whenever we see something that's beyond just a ball or sphere-like looking thing, especially when it has symmetry and geometry in terms of a triangle, I've also seen hexagonal forms, pentagonal, um, you know, things like that do not normally appear up in our natural skies um, of decades past, at least being on this planet, that's not a typical thing. And yet, in the recent couple of years, I've been noticing this phenomena pop up more and more. Now, here we go. Here's this kind of, you know, chunkier form. Uh, it's not a pure rectangle, but it's something. I mean, this has a little curve pitching down. And I don't know, it just, just, just screams like there's a cloak and craft happening in there. And then we have this like longer elongated, you know, form here too, with some shadow to it. I would not be surprised if that's not also something cloaking. And again, it doesn't always have to be a craft. It can be some other object or sensors. This looks like actually it's triangular in form. So it looks like two separate little entities uh, as, as well as this. And I'm not even sure what that is, but I know that looks artificially intelligent, uh, something of intelligence um, back in here with the triangles. Then we're going to look at just white beam at sunrise. So again, we have that strange activity happening beyond that we were just looking at where my cursor is. And then there's this bright, pure white beam. And that's noteworthy because on all of the other sunrises I've been noticing, um, you know, it hasn't been a pure white beam just coming out like that. So it did grab my attention. And here's with some contrast. In this case, uh, sometimes I like to remove color and just leave it in grayscale or black and white just to help the brain and eye connection look at things in a different way, perhaps. So, you know, in this case, you can see the shadows of these triangles a little bit better. And then that beam, you can just see the concentrating concentration of it. You know, it's pretty well defined. And yet, you know, why would there just be a beam, you know, being pitching out that way? It doesn't really make much sense. Anyway, we're going to look at the overall scene, too, because what became interesting, if you look at the lower left original photo, um, I was noticing the beam, and then I caught an object kind of flying through. So I had a couple of different photos consecutive, and I, I picked this object up just in a couple of the frames, and then it was gone. And so on the right-hand side is the enhanced version, so we can pick up that object, too, a little bit better at 8.1. And then we're going to 8.2, we're zooming in, it still looks a little fuzzy, so I went to a separate photo a split second later at 8.3, and it's still, um, it's less fuzzy, but, you know, we can just see the tufted concentration of what I call plasma around this thing, so to me that's definitely a, uh, an intelligent light design object. I know it looks a little amorphous here, but, you know, it looks like there's a clear circle at the end of it, something's going on with that thing. And then we're going to look at a slightly different view um, of that same thing. So we're going to look at 8.4 above. This is already in contrast now. Um, the photo is enhanced now below, but it's a different photo. And you see that same, you know, that same object, and now we just see some other type of plasma activity happening around it. So we're going to look at 8.5, and again, it's a little obscured because it looks like a plasma ring is coming around this thing, hiding it. But you can see, you know, it's definitely an object. All right, and this is called white beam and objects at sunrise. Again, look at these forms. How do we have these kind of look and remind me of a lenticular feeling cloud, although those happen at very high altitude and cold altitude. And this is subtropical to tropical South Florida. And anyway, you wouldn't have this shape, you know, right alongside this type of more cumulus type activity. So what are these things? It's a very suspicious and I want to zoom in and look at them a little more and with some enhancement. So here we go. It's the first enhancement. I've taken the color out again just to see what's kind of going on in the scene. It also looks like a darker body over here if you look where my cursor is, you know, that's like springing up this way like in a wedge shape. It's kind of odd. Anyway, we'll zoom in on A1. We'll take that to A2 now. And again, just looking at the character of these things, like these pure forms, looks like there's something darker happening beyond. Here we've got a bright white point with some shadow to it, so that tells me something's cloaking in here, or actually several things are cloaking in here. And if you look at some of my other shows too, I always point this out, because whenever you have a bright white point or points, um, when you've got either color beyond or just gray beyond, it usually means, especially if they're kind of crystalline in character, that something is cloaking in there. And I have better examples on other previous shows if you take a look around. Okay, now this is the original photo. Again, we're still at sunrise looking east. And just the character of these beams now kind of splaying out, radiating out. Just had a weird quality where we have like a burn spot, a burst of it here where my cursor is, and then dark shadow behind. So that was kind of a weird phenomenon. So we look to the right, and I've just put some enhancement on it, and we get a little bit of a warm color signature beyond. And look at the way this shadow is kind of like arced and curved here. So to me, there are a couple of different light sources going on here to create, you know, this kind of um, combination of light patterns. But see what you think. 
Okay, this is called Strange Light Source West at sunset, and so this is near 6 p.m., a little bit after. And I'm just looking, and the quality and character of this, it just seemed to have like some white crystalline structure going on, and even like a pointed, you know, triangle kind of emerging. So we look at the right-hand side with some enhancement. I tried to get better at what was going on, and all I can see, though, is like a flat, obtuse triangular form happening here with a very specific point to it. Um, you know, and with shadow, and it looks like, you know, plasma activity is like popping all over this place. And we, again, we've got these bright white crystalline points and more edges here. So to me, this is something um, maybe more inter interdimensional in quality, but cloak and craft. Okay, this is Strange Light Sources East at sunset and Panorama. So keep in mind, this is East, and yet, you know, here's the lower photo is the original. The upper one is the enhanced version. And look at, bam, we get this color signature popping right here. You can see it to the naked eye, too. There was more pink in, in color. Um, but with these camera phones, this is just using a camera phone, uh, the photosensitivity range is so much greater than the human eye. So uh, I love the way it can, you know, pick, pick, pull this stuff up out of it. So I think that is some type of cloaking object because look where my cursor is. We have a pure ring, this darker ring forming above. And then we have all this, what I call staccato cloud, where it's really choppy and fuzzy. The cloud, you know, looks choppy and fuzzy, even to the human eye. Um, that just tells me there is definitely some kind of electromagnetic wave activity or other wave frequency uh, disturbing the, um, the atmosphere. So in this case, an object is what I'm saying, that that's a cloak and craft. And then look too, we just have some weird anomalies, like we have a pure, you know, elliptical form here, or like a capsule shaped form with an outline around it. And we have this darker body kind of splintering off here. That's not normal clouds, you know. So anyway, see what you think is going on. This one is Strange Light Sources West at Sunset as well, because here we have very warm activity, even going into some plum and peach color. But then up here, it's like bright white, and it looks a little crystalline here as well. So we're going to take a look at that with some enhancement. Look what we find. So we, we not only see some darker cloud just like swinging up in a curve here, which is kind of odd, um, but look at this little object, this little blurry, fuzzy thing. i, I got to believe that's some type of cloaking object in here. And then, you know, here we've got all this solid color, and then, bam, these bursts of white, white burn spots. And even in here, if you follow my cursor, look at this even curve diving down here beyond. So I think that's some type of object hiding as well. So, and actually it comes down, and I think curves back down this way. So see, actually, all the way down this way is the curve of that thing. So see if see what you might find in here as well. All right, Strange Light Sources West at Sunset again. In this case, with the human eye, I could see an actual sphere, you know, bright, glaring white spot here, and I could see another sphere happening over here as well where the letter B is. So we're going to look at this with some enhancement, and here we're going to see the bottom edge of that ball, that pure white ball that I saw here. Here you don't see it as much in the photo. I did see it to the naked eye, but another sphere here. So I'm saying there are several light sources going on in this photo, and actually maybe one over here. I should have put C as well where my cursor is. And here we go with some more enhancement just to pull it out. And here you can just see, you know, that's more of a ball object right there at A.2. And then B.2, you know, just a little bit, you know, bigger. But that's a different light source than what's happening over here for sure. Looks like something else is happening down here as well. Okay, and this is just strange cloud activity. And um, we're going to look at A. Go to A.1 because it just seemed to be this round opening here. If you follow my cursor, that seems to be a hole with a rim around it with a brighter point on top reflecting. Um, and then here as well at A.2, we see it a little bit better. That's a pure circle. So it looks like it's a like um, some type of, not a cylinder, but something of that that variety that, you know, is heading back off into this cloud material. Then we see a sharp line here with an edge at the corner that also could be a pipe with some plasma drifting in front of it. So what I'm saying is um, on this overall grouping, it looks strange because there's choppy cloud all over it, um, but we're just really picking up signatures down here in the lower half of it, you know, that show me there's enough going on in here to tell me that that's a cloaking craft. All right, now I think you have to agree, this is definitely a strange cloud and quotes activity here. We're looking west again, to, uh, just right pre-sunset. And look at this, it's the only thing in the sky that has this density of cloud and this shape. And then, so if we look up at A, I'm just noting the, the whiter uh, light source that's gonna become more apparent in, in, in the next enhanced view. Something dark is happening in here too of interest. Anyway, B, we have this strange shape. It's kind of an elongated triangle with like a hole through it or something. 
um, with some bright points here. And then we're going to look at the elephant in the room, so to speak. So we've got this thing that looks like a pointed, elongated ellipse and with a huge heavy trail, you know, in front of it. So let's see this enhancement. And so A.1, we get that weird light source happening up in there beyond. B1, you can see the edges now of this more triangular form. And whether that's a hole in it or a cloud in front, I can't tell. But, you know, see what you think. Uh, definitely there's something going on here, though, at B.1. And then we get a bright, bright point here, you know, out in front of it. So to me, that's definitely Cloak and Craft, as is this. Look at this thing. We even have some stuff kind of popping off here. We're going to look at it in more detail, too, which to me shows their little objects springing off of this thing. And then look down here where my cursor is. This is that tufted plasma I'm talking about. So it's definitely agitated. You know, it's of a different nature and consistency and even color signature than everything else going on around it. So that tells me that's cloaking material and something is either coming or going out of there. All right, so we're going to look at another view, the original. Um, we kind of lose our little white spot because it's over here behind the tree. Um, but we're going to concentrate still on B2, which is that elongated shape we were looking at. And we're just zoomed in now. And then C.2, we still have that agitated like clo cloaking material, and we're looking at this shape. Uh, we're going to continue looking at it now with some enhancement. And again, here we've got B.3. It looks like a little, uh, where my cursor is, looks like a little object sticking out, like a 3D object with shadow around it. Um, we've got some weird stuff happening here at the point of this thing. And then we're looking at our C.3, just again, you know, we just see it's pretty solid and pretty symmetrical. And again, we still have this tufted uh, plasma activity happening. This time we see little things poking out of it that have dimension. So I think something separate is cloaking in there. And then we're going to look at it one more time. I think uh, we're going to just zoom in a little bit more, look at the character of some of this stuff happening along the top profile of the C.4. And at the lower bottom one, we're going to go to C.5 and look at it. So, And then we're going to call out now D. Um, oh, and then B.5 is still that other object beyond. But now we're going to look at D to see what's going on in the surface profile of this thing. And we'll go hop up to D.1 above. And look at this where my cursor is. You see a solid object springing out of plasma there. And also here, a little bit here. Just weird objects. Look at this one. It's pretty symmetrical and looks like it has some substance to it. And then here are my cursors. We've got a point here, a point here, and a dome-like shape, and a little triangle here. So what the heck is going on? This is not a typical cloud in no way, shape, or form. So I'm saying this is absolutely a cloaking craft. Okay, this gets strange too. Strange cloud and quotes activity, cloaking objects. We're going to look at A down below and B. So right away you can just see looking off to the north, again kind of pre-sunset as sunset's happening. Look at this thing. It's standalone. It's like odd man out, just kind of drifting there at a very sharp angle while everything else is more or less horizontal. And then we go up to letter B and it's also now starting to take up on an angle. It's got this little fuzzy choppiness um, that I call the staccato cloud, some kind of disturbance happening above. So we're definitely looking at this with enhancement, and look what we get. So again, this thing is just odd. There's also a bright color burst signature behind it in here as well, the white, white color. We have these other kind of strands of things drifting through. And then we get the really choppiness, you know, happening up here. And, you know, this kind of has an elliptical shape to it. But it also could be other some type of object up in here with one, you know, kind of happening in front of it. So this seems to be another object as well. So this could be like a layering of several things going on. Uh, see what you think is happening in there. And then we're just zooming in on that A, letter A. Uh, look at this thing. So it looks like it has that tufted plasma drifting over it, more solid solidity happening beyond to it. And then this little weird thing, like, uh, you know, in the front, like this little hook. I'm not sure what that is. So again, have a look at this when you have a little more time on your own. See what you think is going on with that. All right, this is more strange cloud activity looking west um, at a sunset. So we've got this white glaring ball. That's a whole other story I cover on other shows about an artificial sun and lens work and other technology that is uh, up in our you know atmosphere or higher up. And it's just um, ba not veiling, but it's just um, representing our sun in a different way. It's something happening in front of our natural sun hiding it, obscuring it, and instead of our nice, natural, glowing, pulsing, more yellow, warm sun, we get this very fixed, glaring white um, object happening in front of it. So anyway, I cover it, and so do a ton of other Earth and Sky Watching channels on YouTube. I highly recommend you go look at those two as well. Um, 
<laughs> two as well, I know the same thing. Um, but just kind of, you know, see what they're saying and look at some of my other former shows, see what I'm saying, and put your own impression, your own conclusion together on what could be happening in our sky. I will just tell you, after living decades on this planet, this is not our natural sun. It is white and glaring, doesn't pulse really at all, other than to get really huge or really small, just very randomly, randomly in a drop of a dime, and our natural sun would never be able to do that. All right, but here we're looking at this strange cloud activity. Again, you know, how do we have something in this loose, weird character, you know, happening elongated here off to the off to the right, and then something else heading down this way at the same time, and then we've got weird chaotic activity happening off to the left, and this actually looks like a pure symmetrical pointed ellipse happening off to, to the left, you know, um, heading upward. So uh, there's something cloaking in here for sure. And here we see it at a distance, so you can see what I'm looking at. You know, we've got downward motion here, and this is arcing out this way. You know, just totally uncharacteristic of any clouds I know from being on this planet forever. Um, and then we have a very different character of all the other clouds happening above. So what is going on right there? We're going to look at it again with a little more enhancement. And here we get a warm signature now popping up in the middle of all this craziness. And then we have bright, bright white points. So to me, there is a cloaking craft happening beyond here. Also, maybe one bigger happening beyond all in here, just given the nature, again, of all the choppiness of this cloud, quote-unquote cloud. We also, within this, have some darker object here, a darker object happening, you know, beyond in here and over here as well. Um, and, of course, something must be going on here to generate that kind of warmth just in this one local spot. Also, we've got something happening that's a little more white in nature. Color-wise, it has kind of more of an ethereal glow to it. So see what you think might be going on in here, but I, I'm saying there's all kinds of cloaking activity going on in that scene. All right, here's another one looking south. Um, this one got interesting because to the human eye, you could see this white, bright ring happening around a more shadowy object in the front, plus a bunch of disturbance happening down here in the atmosphere. And we look to the right with enhancement, and we can see things a little bit better. So there is, yes, a shadowy object with a bright, bright ring burst of um, energy and light signature happening around it. And then we have something that looks like a point here beyond, and like a wing, like happening, you know, form happening this way where my cursor is in front. And it looks like there could be some craft happening down in here as well in shadow. Uh, but odd, ah, just the whole scene, because this is bursting off to the right, and this is all choppy below. Uh, just there's so much movement and light that just, you know, just uh, begs the question, what is going on in there exactly? So see what you think. Okay, this is a panorama of more strange cloud and quotes activity looking to the south. And this is kind of that area where we're looking at that ring just now. Um, but here we're going to start to see this long, straight, even edge and another edge coming up here. You can see it much better with enhancement. So if you follow my cursor, there's an edge, and there's a strong edge here. Almost like this is an elongated ice cream cone shape, but you know, if that's curved and this goes down to a point. And then we have a spherical object here happening, and then something dark and shadow here. Well, we have these choppy, again, just all kinds of chaotic choppiness. And then look here. This looks like a, a triangle kind of tilted on its side or on, on edge a little. Uh, so there's a lot going on, on in, in this photo, so please, on your own time, uh, take a little more time and have a look, and I'm sure you're going to find a lot more going on than I pointed out. Oh, and if you do, and if you find other things that I haven't readily called out, and you'd like to see me uh, do some enhancements and talk about it in a future show, just by all means let me know in the comment section below. All right, this is more strange cloud activity and, s and light sources. Started to see a pattern forming here. You know, we just had some regular spacing, you know, of um, what do I want to say? Ugh. Just, you know, shadow pattern, like rib-like things happening in this direction. Also seemed to be an overall shape occurring here. So I wanted to see this with some enhancement. And here we go. Look, it looks like dark shadows of things happening here above. And I couldn't quite get at what this is. But again, just with the choppy nature of everything going on, has to be some type of electromagnetic magnetic wave activity happening in the area. This looks like it could be a cloaking object as well as this here beyond. Anyway, the overall scene, plus the color signature, very warm in this area and, and lacking up in here, just kind of told me something very odd is going on there and very suspect that it's um, a cloaking craft happening all over the place. This one is more of the same, just in this case I'm focusing on the, the profile here, look very interesting. These kind of things, uh, these little prongs poking out, a little bit slightly radial on that edge. So I thought, okay, let's go check this out with a little more um, contrast. Didn't pick up too much. I think this is one of those photos, though, the more you look, the more you're going to see little objects and things hiding. And then we're going to look at a similar scene. So here where you see my cursor, that's the um, 
the profile I was just looking at. So we're going to look at this with some enhancement. Look what we get this time, though. So I'm, I've zoomed out, you know, before we were really in tight on this area. And look what we have here. So these dark shadows, things kind of pulling away at the perimeter. You know, these things, too. Ton of choppiness up in here. That's a lot of uh, dis atmospheric disturbance going on up there. And then we've got this bright ring or, you know, bright shape. Uh, with this thing sitting in front of it. So to me, this is definitely, this might even be, if you look at my cursor, that's an arc going along. Looks like there's different light signature happening here along the perimeter. So I'm going to call this as one type of cloak and craft happening down here. You know, several on the fringe happening around here, and just one bigger thing happening beyond. That's what I see anyway. And this is a better view of that. So here's a panorama of what we were just looking at, um, you know, to the west. And so the bottom is the original, and we go up to the top to see some enhancement, and you can get a better look at this thing. And look how far reaching the, the warm red signature is popping out in a radial pattern. And then this looks like one immense dark object happening over here, too. So see what you think is going on with that. All right, this is a little distorted if you look. So there was a uh, power line, you know, overhead, power lines overhead. But it was the only way with this type of panorama that I could catch what I was seeing with the naked eye. And if you follow my cursor, there was this ring, you know, coming all the way over. And it was pink. And it was not a rainbow. It wasn't a spectrum. It was just reddish pink. And it really arced high. That was the thing about it, almost like a pure circle. So I'm saying this is some lens effect. Um, from, from tech in the sky, because it's not a rainbow, it's nothing to do with atmospheric conditions or water vapor. Um, it's just a pure, and, and because of the pure circular form, it wasn't even like a low arc, like a rainbow. Um, it's just either, you know, it's got to be tech of some kind, and again, it could be ET, human made, or combination. Either way, we're going to look at it with some enhancement. Also, look at this, like, um, this, this ring, you know, or elliptical form happening here down below. And we've got interesting red signature happening all over the place. So we're going to look at this with an enhancement. Here you see exactly where the warm red signatures are happening. And then here you can make out, you know, that ring that I was seeing. And uh, so this one was just very odd. And, you know, combine that with all of the staccato nature, the choppiness, that's atmospheric disturbance being created by something. So I'm going to say, again, that's some type of craft up here cloaking, creating, and generating that local, you know, in this area. And then we've got a dark shadow emerging here, too. So there's a lot of strangeness going on. See what you think is happening. Okay, now we're going to look back to the west. We were looking to the east that second ago. Now we're back to the west, and this is the cover photo um, before it got enhanced a bit. And look at this. So I called the whole show Sky Speak because this just reminded me of just a lot of signals and messages happening in the sky. And then you see this looks like a trumpet or, you know, some kind of weird horn or megaphone, uh, you know, shape. So anyhow, what is going on here? So we've got this, you know, concentric somewhat arched or concentric circles of cloud happening and then we get this burst of reddish activity happening through the sky we have these things on angle like these these ribs or bands coming down this way um, we have you know this thing is slightly curved like a like a bowl shape or a low crescent and then again we've got this thing looks like um, one of those horns that you squeeze you know the rubber part and it comes out the, the long, long horn um, we've got very different consistency consistency happening in here with this quote-unquote cloud all over the place. If you look bigger, this looks actually like an um, egg shape, you know, a spherical form. So there's so much going on in here that, you know, we have to look at it with some enhancement. And here you go. I still don't have any clarity, more clarity on what exactly is going on in here. But this has got to be some type of cloaking craft. Look at it. Um, you know, with some type of cloaking sphere beyond with this weird cloaking pattern. Uh, we get an object back here with a point on it. It looks like a square shape hiding behind plasma. Um, again, this is just strange form in and of itself in the center. We have this white burst of activity where everything else is like golden or dark or, you know, red or blue. And just everything seems to be radiating out from this, you know, this location. So see what you think could be going on. Here's just a zoom in on that one form happening in the middle. And with some enhancement, it almost looks like lava flowing on the ground. Doesn't that look incredible? Uh, it's just a wild scene. Okay, and then here we go. We're going to look back to the east from where we were just looking. Uh, just to check back in, you know, the lower um, the lower scene is the original. We're going to look up at the top, you know, for an enhanced version. So, again, we still have our pink ring going on in here. 
And again, this is starting to look wild. This is looking like objects happening in here and cloaking objects. And then we have something even darker echoing back here. Interesting pattern work here. And the way the disturbance in this area is happening is also very curious. Look at this looks like regularized um, little points happening, you know, on the on the spine of this thing. And then we got this burst of white energy happening as well. So this is a really interesting scene. See what you think is going on. All right, more strange cloud activity. Now we're going to pop back looking to the southwest, opposite of where we were looking. And this just had an interesting pattern, you know, of the reddish activity. So we're going to look at that with some enhancement. You can just see the way that streak, it's like a crackle of, of red going through the sky. And again, look at the disturbance, the atmospheric disturbance all over the place here. So to me, that is definitely some type of either massive cloak and craft beyond or multiple to, to create this kind of pattern. And so here we are at the photo of the week and the close of the show. I want to thank you for hanging around here a while. If you watch my cursor, that was a perfect crescent moon reflecting in a puddle on the street. So this is water with leaves in it. And then this was a pure form of the crescent moon above reflecting in the puddle. <laughs> so thank you for reflecting on things a while here with me as well. I wish you all a gorgeous weekend wherever you are, uh, whatever time of day or night. And I wish you, above all, tremendous peace and love. Thanks for staying here for a while. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.